now she knows all the great fashion trending in town when it comes to town that's not all she's very wise and intelligent she knows what she wants to subscribe hello 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 and welcome back to my channel it's been a while you guys sorry i've been ill for some days now anyway hope you guys are doing well how was your weekend hope you guys have a fantastic one i've been a bit under the weather i don't know i, I can call it flu because the cold started coming back up since maybe last week but oh my god it's, it's getting really worse but i've been a little bit under the weather it's nothing really serious anyway hope you guys are doing well sorry for being ill for like five six days now so i quickly want to go into this story about a white comedian's brother if you don't know uh a white comedian is a very big comedian in nigeria in case you are not a nigerian just a little backstory and his brother is a fashion designer who by accident become a fashion designer simply because he was fashionable and you know he just crossed over into that and it's really good in this fashion designing stuff Anyway, his name started popping up as soon as the story of Alex Ekubo and Alex Ekubo ex fiancé Fancy Achelonu came up. People started pointing finger at Yomi Kajua and I.K. Obona, even though I.K. Obona had a wife before they divorced and uh, now because Yomi Kajua, I.K. Obona and Alex Ekubo, if you haven't seen the story about Alex Ekubo and the ex fiance I will advise that you watch previous video before this one, then maybe you will get the hang of this story a little bit. The same accusation people are, you know, pointing at Alex Ekubo is the same as Yomi Kajua. The only difference is that Yomi Kajua is married with kids and the wife of Yomi Kajua actually went on Fancy's page and literally just asked her why she is doing that because obviously they know each other. Because Alex Ekubo and Yomi Kajua and that IK Obona, they, they are like three musketeers everywhere Alex is, you know, they're always going places together. So everybody knows that they are really close. So I think she messaged Fancy, even though she deleted what she said to Fancy. It is uh, the, the what Fancy told her is in one of my video whereby Fancy said, Grace, you know me, I don't talk, I don't do this, blah, blah, blah. And I believe what Grace, Yomi Kajua's wife was telling her is that why is Fancy doing all that? Like, why is she putting Alex Ekubo on a blocking job and a lot of people were speculating and bringing up stories that are not true about him. I, I guess that is what she wrote based on the response of Fancy Achelonu on Fancy's page because Grace actually deleted a comment. Anyway, long story short, this rumor started trailing them and when the wife couldn't take it anymore, she literally came out with a message because you know, when you are, your everyone is pointing at you and literally saying that it doesn't matter even if you are married, there are some people that are married that are still, you know, down low. I said it as well. It's very, very possible. However, I'm not one of these people that just literally take rumor. Even if it's like my best friend in my head, we, um, which is Chistova, it doesn't mean I will say Chistova is lying and I will not say this is literally true. I only base everything on evidence. Like, is there a evidence? Is there a proof that this happened? You, you get what I'm saying? Like, is there a boyfriend that comes out and say that this is what is happening in my life? I mentioned a lot of stories that I've heard about people that are married, people that are with kids, that people are accusing them of being down low. And, you know, um, not accusation is not always true. That's what I will say. Sometimes, they accuse you based on association sometimes the accusation comes because someone has seen you doing some shady stuff so anyway this is what fab jewel that's her name on instagram that's ayomakun's uh brother's wife fab jewel yomika jewel's wife she said that we all know that the western fashion world is engulfed by such traits and uh you know trying to clear up the husband's name. I don't know if I can make this board a little bit more because I might not read the entire thing, you know. Okay, so this is what she said. You can you can literally pause it and and read. 
So she was literally saying that maybe because of the way her husband dressed or something like that, you know, it's becoming in another world. It's also not a crime for a guy to look good, to represent his brand and give himself quality attention. Shouldn't that be translated as being gay just because no majority of men pay less attention to their looks and suddenly their looks and lovable features are insult. Stop defamation already. That said, our family is in touch with no form of chaos or reason for my husband and I to drag ourselves anywhere over a non-existence issue. Stop tagging me and go ask your favorite blogger to save you all the stress and suspense by unleashing their show of shame within 24 hours or buying for making you waste your ad and money on data for no reason. More so, for those of you who love gossip, you can keep spreading your drama and lies as fans of negativity until being victim of it leads you to know how much it hurts and destroy people's peace. Beyond all the lies, we will continue to be guided on the path of truth, love and respect for others, any bloggers or individual who wouldn't stop spreading fabricated and artful news about this man have known for the last five years of marriage and 13 years of friendship i pray that calamity will come upon them all one by one in jesus name so that was what the wife said and ay literally you know put it there and said that it is all about entertainment for these evil people referring to bloggers they are they are traits you will never ever trace to the macons like the traits of these gabriel thing you already know who you marry go to bed as for the bloggers i still have their tablet then go use backup account again when i strike as usual i won't worry i don't know what he's talking about maybe he's gonna bring the blog down and however you know this underhand shading it goes to a lot of blogs as well but i think the chunk of it they are literally directing it towards gisova because what had happened is that as soon as all this rumor of Alex Ekubo, you know, Alex Ekubo posted, uh, Alex Ekubo posted uh, about, you know, conversation is, is had with uh, fancy. So, and I think that day that the conversation was all over the media about the conversation of Alex Ekubo and fancy and a lot of people were literally calling Alex out. I'm going to show you now what Gisova posted. And before you know it, a lot of people started speculating. You know, Gisova will post and actually say that, talk about what uh, Gisova felt about the situation. Like, oh, there's somebody uh, over to you. I've never been in the, I'm always in Gisova's comment section, but never ever guess things because it is not my character to actually point accusation figure on someone. I can look at things and tell you that this is what I think. It doesn't mean that what I think is true. You know, what you're thinking is different than what is actually really true. And what had happened that makes this story, you know, because Shami Kajua actually came out as well himself yesterday and literally placed cost on a lot of people that are carrying this rumor. So this is what Gisova uh, posted the day Alex Ekubo's audio leaked uh, him and fancy watch my previous video you will understand what i'm talking about he just said all these suit fine sha i beg be like i go soon like this suto i they come make i go tailor as first i come in peace and a lot of people were accusing you know you know see the multi-three musketeer with provand and ancestral name called the ogedengbe i even saw where someone actually tagged this fab jewel you get what i'm saying like oh they're talking about you fab jewel come here like at fab jewel can you come here quickly please someone is asking about you or something like that so i find it really repulsing that you will go to the extent of tagging the wife in this kind of rubbish after all Gisova did not even say that this is what had happened and just over as in just over we always have like a proof or something of what is going on that's why i said just over just it might not be something that you will take immediately even though a lot of people enjoy the fact of dragging people down i will always say it if they are if there is a rumor about you there might have been something people see that make them point a finger to you there is a lot of people living in the world how come it is you they are pointing the finger to it doesn't mean that pointing that finger to you that you've done this doesn't mean you've done it except if there is a evidence of you that you've done that thing anyway this is what your me 
wrote on his page. He deleted it right now. I couldn't find a ball. Obviously, this is your me casual AY brother. They look alike. And see, this is what he said. He said, um, he, he literally wrote, you know, like a pistol. I think he, he said that uh, a lot of people were telling him to forget about it, to not think about it. I'm just going to summarize what he said. That is very easier than done for people to tell him that he should forget about everything the blog are saying about him. Forgetting that he's got a family and it's not okay for something like this, especially if his kids grow up to see all these things, you know. And he said that enough is enough. That if him, Omani, Olori, or Mimakun, be gay or not any single idea of sleeping with a with his own fellow, uh, with his own fellow gender, that may may he like literally cursing himself. If you can, you know, pause it and read it. Is a lot I don't even want to. I don't like reading. How do I put it? I don't really like reading courses, especially that kind of personalize it to themselves. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, like the way in Kaifele was singing that he's, he's done this, he's done that. I, do, I always refer to the person that you, you, you. I don't know. That's my own. So he literally cost himself out that anybody that is carrying that rumor may then buy him. If he's him, that he is lying about it, may he buy him blah 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 so anyway that was what he wrote this morning and despite everything so and he said that as you come here to say no blog mention your name but some of you remember to tag me to put in a comment with my name in their comment section which is true some people actually tagged him some people tagged his wife in fact till this morning a lot of people were tagging because what had happened is that just over again you know posted about a home that is about to crash that there was uh there was a celebrity or something that their home is really hot right now and uh <laughs> that the wife is trying to divorce the husband and a lot of people were going on and speculating that oh we know who he is he is yummy obviously everybody was saying him some were even tagging the wife and i don't think it's necessary i don't know why people are always in haste you know to hear sad news about people i do blog but it doesn't mean that i like to hear bad news about people especially in the situation whereby his kids are involved in all of this anyway uh i'm saying that to say that no matter what uh you hear about people try and become wait and see what is the truth because see this is what jisova posted today and you know a lot to it say it don't happen sorry that's that's not the one i'm looking for uh wait i'm gonna go on uh sorry about that I think it's on the other page. I think it's on the other page. So, uh, just so I literally posted, you know, hello to a lot of there's some family, you know, is getting hot and hotter in their home right now. You know, uh, the wife is trying to get a divorce. I don't think it's a wife or a lot of these people, you know, sometimes you just look at where is your brain? I, I didn't even think it's them. I, I, I'm thinking it's someone else as far as i'm concerned because i don't think the wife will anyway you guys let's just wait and see what happened however people need to stop tagging these people in all this rubbish it's fine it's fun to them like they say it's fun to you if, if it does not if it doesn't in, include you or your family at the end of the day is it not these people that we always say that because just over said the wife of this person know that this know what this person is. That's what just over said. Anyway, you guys, I I just want to hear what you guys think. Do you think it's alright for people to you know quickly speculate and conclude it, even without the blog saying that this is what I'm talking to? And do you think it's okay for people to be tagging people like oh? I'm talking about this person, not necessarily directly. You know that, yes, this is the person that the blog is talking about, but you concluded and just said that this is the person and you started tagging the person and their entire family on this kind of post. Anyway, I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below, guys. On your way out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 
share if you like it if you haven't please guys hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and i will see you in the next one thank you so much guys for riding with me i appreciate your support god bless you and i will see you in my next one bye subscribe and get that gist with the one and only debbie Fashta.